All right, let's see it. We bumped into a subscriber down here, a kid named Tyson that grew up right here in this little village. What you got? Grass. There we go. Look at that thing. I got a couple stickers for him, bro. And then we taking you diving or what? Oh my God, thank you. No worries. Tyson tells me he's a diver too and he was like, I'm thinking about going out this afternoon and I'm like, jump on, come with us. I'm taking out a group of local kids for his birthday. His name is Raya. They came to my safety talk I did a while ago and I'm gonna take their whole crew. We're gonna learn how to dive safe a little bit more, work on some of those things that I talked about, shoot a bunch of fish to fry, and then hopefully fry them up right here on the beach. The zone we're going today is like one of my favorite little spots to go because it's got a really cool drift. We're gonna do a big walk and then hopefully a long drift. And what are you using for defog? You talking about your leaves? Oh, no paca. No paca, what is that? Yeah, you like, you take a few and then you you'll kind of like, and you just storm. crumble it up and then you just put it in your mask. Then you just put them in your mask. Bug. They're right there, that what? bush. Huh. I'm gonna stick to my baby shampoo, but are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Phew. Phew. Keep going, keep going. We gotta get off that beaten path. That's what I'm talking about, the black cotton socks. That's how I know we can dive. Where are our ears? Come on, you haven't seen that video, me and Justin? I literally meet Justin and we both get off and put all our stuff on and we both look at each other's socks and we're like, wow, that's how I know you could dive. We both got our black cotton socks from Walmart. Everybody's had a really good safety briefing. We've kind of gone over what kind of fish we're looking for. You never shot a king pullet before, yeah? I never shot a king pullet. No king pullets yeah. if shot. No yeah. Moana collies? I've hit no Moana collies. Okay, there's a couple Moana collies here. How about uh, Menpachis? I want one. That's what I'm always. You're always looking for them? I'm always looking for them. Dive under Yeah? Up. We're all gonna stick together. We're gonna really focus on getting Raya some of his first new species and working on becoming selective spear fishermen. At this age, you tend to go out here and just kind of, that gun is firing, that pole spear is slinging, wounding fish, swimming away. We're gonna try and work on slowing down a little bit and targeting specific species and specific individual fish that we actually wanna take back to eat. Guys, I'm gonna suit up right now and we'll see you in the water. You can always drop your spear and pick it back up. So right away, the first thing I noticed when we jumped in the water is how much movement these guys are doing just to try and stay on the surface. And that's a buoyancy issue that we're gonna talk about throughout this video. No wetsuit, no weight belt, short fins mean you're constantly kind of struggling just to stay on the surface and breathe up, which means you're never gonna become relaxed enough to dive properly. The other main issue that I saw from these guys is such a common problem that I see almost every beginner diver doing, and that's that they take poor shot angles. You know, they come down and you're trying to approach a fish from, you know, an angle from above, and that's just not gonna work at all, ever. Like, if that per fish presents such a small target if you're coming at it like that. You've really gotta get down to its level and then shoot across at that fish. You gotta get down to its level and then shoot across at it. You'll see that right here as he gets down to the fish's level, they present such a better target for him. And he's able to get down there and then approach them on their same plane and then shoot across at them and make it happen. You can see he's still moving around quite a bit down there in the bottom, but he's definitely starting to move a little bit slower and get a little bit closer to those target fish. He's able to finally connect with this one and put the first fish on the board. That's dinner. That's all right. First one on the board, man. We can eat that. That's dinner. That's it. Now watch out for his knives. I think that's a pualu. Well, pulani, this one. Okay, but it's food. Yeah. Let's eat it. Nice fish, man. I think that's a king cole. Yeah. Looks good. Nice. A real cole. Nice fish. We picked up a few fish in that zone and then went off looking for something maybe a little bit bigger or a little bit more special. And then as we were swimming, we saw a whole entire pile of those King Coles down here in this kind of little boulder section. But he tries to go down and get right on top of them and take a shot. Now these fish are really narrow from the top and there's just no way to get a high percentage shot at these things. You've got to go down from the side. All right, so that's a good hole with them, but you got to land further away from the hole to get a better shot, you know? If you land further away, then you can look across and shoot them horizontal. So when I got down there to the bottom to kind of check out the hole for those King Kole, I noticed a massive Ali'ihi. And the Ali'ihi is this big red fish that you guys are gonna see in the next couple clips that would definitely be a stud, a trophy fish for these guys. But you'll see Raya do something really good here. He's on his way to the bottom, he's out away from the hole, and then his ear doesn't clear. 
And he could have kept pushing that thing a little bit and maybe got down to me. I mean, he knows that I'm pointing at something good, but honestly, if he did that, he's gonna push his ear and it's gonna hurt it. It's gonna cause some kind of barotrauma in there and he's gonna be done for the entire rest of the day. So there's a lot of things that you guys can kind of push, you can kind of play with, but the ears are absolutely not one of them. When the ear locks up, you've gotta turn around right that moment and go back to the surface or you're gonna hurt them, risk doing permanent damage, but definitely ruining them for the rest of the day and probably the rest of the week at least. So this is another big tip for you guys, especially you beginners out there. Watch Raya hover off the bottom. This is literally the worst thing that you can possibly do for your spearfishing. Because he doesn't have a wetsuit, he's not comfortable with going down to the bottom, relaxing and resting down there onto the rocks, onto the sand, like I do. You'll see me get down here and I totally settle. I'm not moving at all because my I'm rested on the bottom. There's no need to move to stay in place. Whereas Raya comes down and a lot of you guys will come down, get a foot or two off the bottom and then spend so much energy trying to hover there that you, you cannot stay down there long because you're burning all your oxygen, plus you're scaring all the fish. So watch what he does, look at this. He's right off the bottom. He could very easily have just gone another foot, sank to the bottom, and then been there using no energy. Instead, big hand movements, big fin movements to try and stay in place and just completely scaring everything away. So another really good tip for you guys, especially when you're hunting around these holes. Now we know that there's a fish in there that we really want. So I back off a little bit and you'll see Raya go straight down and kind of gun extended straight into that hole. Now the problem is his eyes didn't adjust and he couldn't see what he was gonna shoot at. So once that gun went in that hole, that fish just turned around and, and booked it out of there, was scared. Whereas if he would have landed two, three feet away, he could have let himself relax, adjust a little bit, crawl forward, have a stable shooting position, and he would have been able to take, shoot that fish. You can see him there popped right out next to us in the other cave. That thing's just going back and forth and absolutely driving both of us completely crazy. So you'll see him right here make that same mistake again. And he comes down from the top side and grabs a hold, basically he grabbed right a hold of this fish's house. Whereas if he came in from the back side a little bit further away, he would have been able to sneak up there and been prepared and been able to get this shot. There's that fish right there cruising across, coming back into his house. Because as long as we don't spook him, he's gonna hang out. He's got no reason to leave until we scare him away from his house. So you'll see Raya cruising down, and this time he lands, he's a little bit further out, a little bit further away, but still plows right into that house, grabs the top of that rock, <clears throat> has the gun completely inside of there, and just shook around this guy's house too much and wasn't able to, to let him fully relax so he could take that shot. You got too close to spook him, but you saw him, right? It was a good one. You guys will see him again with this hovering action, and I cannot stress this enough. Like, he is one foot off the bottom. He could have very easily gone to the bottom. Instead, he sits there and he struggles to maintain position. That left arm waves back and forth. Those fins move back and forth. And all you're doing is burning oxygen and scaring everything away. Now eventually I had to go down here and show these guys how it's done because we needed something to cook over the fire. Now you'll see me go down and do exactly all those things that I've been talking about. I go straight to the bottom, I keep that gun tucked way behind me, and I sit there and I acclimate and I let myself, let those fish kind of become natural and relaxed before I pick one out and take my shot. Now there's the alihi going across right there, but I actually prefer to eat a king kole over an alihi any day of the week. So because we're gonna fry stuff up on the on the beach or over the fire, that's what I'm looking for right here, one of these giant king koles. So I'm able to sit here, wait, take my time, and then pick out that fish that I'm looking for and then take that shot. So you'll see Raya again do that exact same thing, but at least now start to kind of recognize those problems. That, you know, he's right in the school of fish. He's right in their face swimming with them. You know, a few more feet down to the bottom, which we've seen Raya can go that deep. You just gotta get down there and then relax and then shoot across at those fish. We're all afraid of you, you gotta go to the bottom. <laughs> All these problems are just standard characteristic beginner diver issues that I see over and over and over. And if you guys can take these couple little things and fix them, I promise you will progress in your spearfishing life so quickly. And to see Raya start to kind of put these things together and then be able to connect on a couple fish was just so freaking cool.
Nice fish. Let's get out of here. Well, we didn't die. Nobody got stabbed by a spear, which is maybe a miracle. Birthday boy Raya here is going to start the fire, and then we're going to fry these guys up. What kid does not love making a fire? A nerd. There we go. Hold there we it go. You gotta hold it there. Yeah, hold it in there. Maybe try another spot after a while. Get another spot of it going. Problem is, you went a little big on the next stick. You gotta go thinner. Start lower. There's too many sticks. Yeah, you get you get too big of sticks. You guys need yeah. to go smaller sticks. I gotta get some smaller sticks. Try this I guy. Right there. Oh, and then put a bunch of sticks on him. You guys gotta go thinner sticks. Get that paper going. Is that toilet paper? Paper towel. Okay, good. Secret to everything. Some small stuff. You need like pencil size. That's pencil size. Yeah. What would Brody Moss say? I don't know. <laughs> we have fire, baby. We got fire, oh. baby. Oh, wow. You guys aren't even YouTube fans. No, we are. All I we watch, are. Wait, All I watch is you and me. Yes. Clean them up, huh? Scale. Right. Just, it just How was your dive? Sense. Awesome. Yeah, what'd you kill? The smallest fish ever in the world, but it was so fun. I shot a cola. I, caught, I shot King Cola. How was the dive? Awesome. What'd you learn? I learned to slow down. A lot. A lot. You see how slow I move? Yeah. Do I move at all? No. no. Just, I'm not going anywhere. I thought you had blacked out. Yeah. I was about to dive down. That's how it should look. What'd you, how'd you do? I caught a rockfish. You shot the pavao. Nice. Yes. What'd you, how'd you dive? I didn't get anything, but I almost got a flounder. There you go. I got a cola. How about you, Ryan? What you got? There you go. Yeah, What's that fish called? Seven. Uh, Unfortunately, I lost the footage of us actually eating the cola, but as usual, they were delicious even with some extra sand. Safety skills come first for any new divers, and I was lucky to be able to work with this crew over the summer. After that, there are these same few small things that every beginner does wrong that will completely change your spearfishing life. Wear a wetsuit, hunt from the bottom, and slow way down. Happy birthday, Raya. You were a pleasure to dive with. Let's get out there again soon.